ESP IDF. ESP IDF is Espressif's official IoT development framework for the ESP32, ESP32S, and ESP32C series of SOC. SOC stands for System on Chips. It provides a self sufficient SDK or software development kit for any generic application development on these platforms. It uses programming languages such as C and C, which any Arduino lover is familiar with. ESP IDF currently powers millions of devices in the field and enables building a variety of network connected products, ranging from simple light bulbs and toy to big applications and industrial devices. ESP IDF provides a variety of features such as OTA updates, file system, object storage, Bluetooth or BLE, mesh networking, Mac library and many more. It is a great SDK to work on. In this video, we will learn how to use ESP IDF or ESP IoT development framework in Windows as well as in Linux or Ubuntu. The process of installation and use in Windows as well as Ubuntu is similar. In this video, I used both platforms, half on Windows and half on Ubuntu 18.04, just to show the process. The process is absolutely same for both operating systems. The content of today's video will be as follow. How to install ESP IDF extension in VS Code? Then we will see how to download ESP IDF SDK and its dependencies. Then we will compile a Blink code. And finally, we will upload the code to the ESP32. So this will be our content for today. So without wasting time, let's get started. But before that, let's hear a word from the sponsor of this video. This video is sponsored by Altium, which is a PCB designing software. The best thing about this software is, it is a complete suit that includes circuit simulator, schematics capture, PCB designer, MCAD for 3D modeling, and many more functions required for an electronic design process. And this software is the oldest EDA suit. Therefore, it has a largest component library covering every electronic part and a lot of help is available online for this software. Get yours with one month free by using the link in the description of this video. The first step will be to open your VS Code. Currently, I am using Windows. First of all, navigate to Extensions and search for ESP IDF. Select the extension and the extension page will open. Click on Install to add this extension to VS Code. Now we have to press Ctrl plus Shift plus P to open command search. In the command search, we have to search for configuring extension and click on ESP IDF configure extension command. Now a tab will open. You will have three options. Now select express option. Then specify where you want to save your ESP IDF and ESP tools. And click on install. VS Code will automatically download the ESP IDF and its dependencies. It will take a long time and depends on your internet speed. So sit back and relax for a while. When the download will be completed, you can close the tab. Again, open command search by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus P and search for IDF examples. Now a lot of example will open on the left hand side. Here you can choose whatever example you like and try it. Let us start from the simpler one, Blink. Now select a folder to save it. And this is our Blink project. Here we have a lot of project files. In the main folder, 
you will get the blink.c file. This is our main code. Currently, the default GPIO pin is 5. If you want to change it, then you can go to kconfig.projectbuild and change the default to your desired pin. I am changing it to pin number 4. Let us plug in ESP to the computer. As you can see, I already had put a LED on the GPIO pin number 4. In the bottom, we have a lot of buttons. The first is to select the board. Our board is ESP32. Then we have the current project folder button. Then we have the settings and a full clean button. Next we have a project button. It compiles our code. Then we have a flash button. It uploads our code to the ESP. Then we have a monitor button or a serial monitor button. Next we have one button for build, flash and monitor. Let us click on the build button first. The code will take a while to compile for the first time. It's time to relax again. Once the code is built, we can flash it. Let us switch to Ubuntu for further tutorial. Don't get confused. You don't get confused. You can use Windows to flash it. I am just using Ubuntu in the tutorial to cover both operating system in the same video. VS Code in Ubuntu is same as it is in the Windows. So I am using both operating system one by one so that you can get a clear picture of both the operating systems. Now press the flash button. The program will start to upload in the ESP. Once it is done, we can check our ESP and the LED on the ESP starts to blink. Let us try one another example. This time select hello world example. Let us use the fire button directly. It will build as well as flash as well as open the serial monitor with a single click. Now you can see it says hello world on the serial monitor and also prints the device detail and reset itself after every 10 seconds. So this is what it was written in the code. You can read the code in the main folder to understand it. I think you got a basic picture of how to use ESP IDF. So that's it for this video. I hope you found it informative and understandable. If you like it, then press the thumbs up button and to watch more of my videos, check out my channel. I have a lot of cool projects and tutorials, especially for you. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.